What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Got some major news for you guys in this video. And buckle up. Here we go. So let's jump right in. Yeah, we'll cover this in this video. Huge blow for Putin as America hands Zelensky a devastating wonder weapon. Will this change the tide for Ukraine? I covered this in the previous video. The ground that Ukraine has been gaining against Russia and show it on the map. If you didn't see that video, I'll link you to the previous video. You'll have to watch that. It actually shows on the map the ground of Ukraine versus Russia. You'll have to see that. Check that out in my previous video. I'll link you to that here at the end of this video. Uh, it actually shows that. A lot of people don't realize what Russia and Ukraine and what's happening on the map with who's gaining ground and whatnot. Cover this here in this video here in a second. Also, Ukraine heavy artillery inflicts hell on Russian lines near Bakhmut as Ukraine is trying to take back Bakhmut. Remember here that the Wagner Group, it took them, how many days was it? Yeah, here it is. The leader of the Russian mercenary group, who Prigozhin, who is now no longer with us. We know what happened there with the plane crash uh, being shot down by Putin. I think we all agree that that what is what happened. He's basically off them. Uh, that his Prigozhin captured Bakhmut after 224 days of fighting. And um, so it took Russia and uh, Prigozhin, the Wagner Group, 224 days of fighting. Now Ukraine is trying to take it back, trying to take it back. And um, I covered the, the map here in the previous video. Uh, really good video there. Yeah, it's being reported by Reuters. The use of heavy weapons supplied by the West in a fierce battle raging on the outskirts of Bakhmut was captured by Russia in May, now trying to be recaptured here by Ukraine in, in is inflicting a significant toll on enemy lines, Ukrainian commanders have told Reuters. Buoyed by after the capture last week of the key village of Klyshchevika, Ukrainian troops have lauded the 155 millimeter howitzers as key equipment being provided by the U.S. and NATO allies. Unit Commander Oleksandr said Ukrainian armed forces, quote, very much rely on heavy artillery, including the Polish made crab gun and the U.S.-made M109 self-propelled howitzer. Even one gun can completely turn the situation around, and an attack can be stopped with one such gun. Yeah. This also comes here as the U.S. announces a, quote, wonder weapon, a devastating wonder weapon, can see the headline here, a huge blow for Putin. The provision of the Army Tactical Missile System is a massive boost for Ukraine in the brutal war against Russia. Yeah, President Joe Biden has told Ukrainian President Zelensky that the U.S. will hand Ukraine devastating long-range missiles, dubbed the Wonder Weapon to aid war with Russia in a monumental blow for Putin. Now, this is controversial and a concern because Russia may deem this an escalation towards World War III if Ukraine starts hitting them back with missiles. On the other hand, this is what Russia does to Ukraine every single day shoots missiles into Ukraine and hits them with missiles every single day. As my father would say, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, but will this be an escalation of World War III? See my previous video 
of what Russia just said about the U.S. The U.S. president made the announcement to the Ukrainian counterpart in the latest round of crunch talks between the two U.S. The, between the two leaders, three U.S. officials and congressional officials familiar with the discussion told NBC News. It's a massive win for Ukraine and Zelensky, who have long pleaded for Army tactical missile systems known as the Actums. This would give their troops the ability to strike targets as far away as 180 miles, hitting supply lines, railways, commands, and control locations behind the Russian front lines. So they can actually do some damage far away and actually hit Russian systems and actually do some damage to Putin where it hurts. Defense officials have, however, conceded the U.S. does not have a large stockpile of these and they are more expensive to provide to Ukraine than traditional artillery. Now, this comes as Ukraine is getting the Abrams tanks. They're literally going to be arriving there soon. And they're getting training on the F-16s. This comes as there's criticism for them getting supplies too slow as they're losing lives on a daily basis. Russia is just going to continue on with their war as they... You'll have to see my previous video on, I actually show the map on where Ukraine and Russia stand on the war. Uh, I did a whole in-depth video on that. Very, very good video. So there's criticism on what is the delay sending this stuff. If you're going to send this stuff, send this stuff, right? There's no reason to have lives be lost more than needed, right? If you're going to send this stuff to help them defend their country, from an invader who just wants to take, you know, it's like someone, if someone comes to invade your home, right? And you say, okay, the, we're going to send the police to come and help you from this invader. You don't send the police a month later, right? I mean, an invader's coming to your home. Okay, we're going to send the police to help you from this invader. You expect them to send the police as soon as possible, right? You don't say, all right, we'll send the police. You just fend for yourself. And then whenever the police get there, I mean, I understand the police have to travel there, right? But you don't say, we'll send the police, but, you know, we're going to, um, <laughs> we're going to, you know, eat some donuts, have some crumpets, and, uh, you know, we'll get there a few months later, right? I mean, it's an invader, right? An invader's an invader. If it's your home, you're like, hey, this is, there's an invader as soon as possible, right? This is an emergency situation. They're literally coming into our home. So you got to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. If there's an invader coming into your home, if you've ever seen cops or on patrol or something and you see an invader literally coming into somebody's home, you're like, oh my God, imagine if that was you. You go and get your gun or you call the police or both. You do both, right? And you, this is a life or death situation. This is a life or death situation also for Ukraine. If the U.S. was in this situation, same thing. If one of the U.S.'s allies was in this situation, same thing. This is why NATO exists. This is why NATO 31, 32 countries, this is why we have allies. It's like, hey, if you're a part of NATO, we want to assist you. Ukraine, not part of NATO. But the world has stepped in and said, you know what? We don't want another Hitler. We don't want them, somebody to come in and say, hey, we're just going to take over Crimea. We're just going to take over Moldova. We're going to just take over all these other co countries until somebody says, hey, you can't just step in and say, take over all these countries at free will. And same thing with China. China, Taiwan, U.S.-Taiwan Relations Act. Again, somebody has to say you can't just step in and take over countries against other people's wills. And the U.S. has a signed congressional declaration from years ago that says we would help them defend themselves. Again, different people have different uh, 
you know, determinations or different, uh, you know, ways to read it, right? But we hope it doesn't come to that. And this is where it's like you you have to have deterrence, and we hope that something doesn't come to that. Unfortunately, Ukraine has come to that, and there's hundreds of thousands of people losing their lives because of an invader. An invader. It's an absolute nightmare. And now it's like, how does this stop? Where do we go from here? Yeah. So now we have the U.S. sending wonder weapons. And uh, remember that Russia has 6,000 nuclear weapons. So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date. I'll link you to two massive videos here I just did right now. So if you haven't yet, subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for liking and sharing these videos here as well. Click here to see Russia with activating 3,000 nuclear troops here in this video. Or you can see the new advances and the Russian-Ukraine map that you need to know about here that you probably are not even aware about, which is absolutely crazy. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.